Welcome back, everybody. So here we are with issue 11. I think <laughs> my talking just woke up my dogs upstairs. That's hilarious. So anyway, here we are with issue 11. And uh, this one might be rather interesting for some of you guys. So we are going to see our first real kind of content information about any Imperial uh, fighters or anything. Okay. And then we're going to get into the orbit of Alderaan. So um, this might be interesting. I'm not sure why the orbit would be significant, but we're going to find out. And then we'll learn about the startup and takeoff of for the Millennium Falcon. So I'm guessing it's going to talk about you know uh, needing to take off quickly and all that kind of stuff. So um, and then we're going to get into what we're going to do now is we're going to get into what we have here and what we're going to be doing. So, let me just open this up. So, I pull all the parts and I put them in these big bags here. So, I don't think I had showed you that before. But, so here we are. We have our wall. Our wall piece there. We have our two uh, spline pieces. Um, we have our support. All kinds of screws and then we have our frame and we have some of the the bottom plating so we have a bottom frame and a bottom plating now that we have all that we can throw it off to the side because we're not going to be using it so um, yeah we're we're uh, going to be doing some other stuff this this month and um, what we're going to be doing is something that uh, I had a joke here, but uh, I'll probably avoid it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some pipe work. Um, so uh, what we did was we received some parts in issue 8 and issue 9. And those parts are here. We've used some of those parts Uh uh, I think eight was the seats and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then some other parts through here. Um, so we got all that, all of our parts from that. But we're, now we're going to use some of these pipes. We're not going to use all of them. And then uh, this was issue nine. The nice thing is, let's see if you can, can you see that. Okay, so this is issue, actually it's issue eight. And uh, this one's issue eight. So they're both issue eight. Yeah, here I thought one was issue nine. So they're both issue eight. We've used the parts off of this one. And uh, one of those parts was um, this piece here for our tech table. All right. And the other piece was for this back wall that we did last time. And that was this piece there that came off of there. So um, we're going to use this piece and that piece off of here. And these pieces here. So um, let's just kind of walk through what we're going to do. And then what I'm going to do is clip off the pieces that we need, clean them up, and decide after I clean them up if I'm going to do any kind of uh, painting or anything like that for them. So there's a part in here I wanted to show you guys. Um, so that's going to be important. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces. We're going to make one out of them. So this little piece connects to this piece, the bigger piece, to make that. It's going to do that. And then we essentially have the same type of thing going on over here. So uh, then we'll cut off all of our, our the gray pieces. And again, like I said, we have the two pieces 
It's going to make that one piece. And then we'll put all these pipes in here. So here's the interesting part. Something I'm going to try to do, however, you see how small these pipes are. And if you look here in this picture, we've got what looks to be maybe a red and a blue. Uh, they look to be red and blue stripes. So um, that would be on this piece here would be one red and blue stripe. And then on these two pieces here would be the other red and blue stripes. So the problem is that these are fairly small. And I'll have to try to figure out how to make those stripes really, really small as well. So um, I'll just try to figure that out. So if, if I think I can make that happen, um, then I'll do that. But uh, at the very least, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip these off, uh, clean up any of the, uh, the seams and that kind of stuff, and then wash them and then we'll figure out if we're going to paint them. If I'm going to do any kind of painting, uh, I'd like to get it kind of taken care of. So um, as far as these go, I'll have to find an appropriate color. In the magazine, according to these pictures, they actually look white to me. So whereas these are kind of like a tannish color. I don't know if you guys can quite make that out. So if you compare it to the Falcon lettering, uh, these are kind of like a tannish gray color. So what I'll do is um, probably have to prime these and um, paint them uh, like a, just a flat white or something. So uh, we'll go from there. I'll get these cut out and everything, and then I'll come back when I'm ready to begin. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So I've cleaned up all these parts. I've washed them and I learned a valuable lesson. So with these smaller pieces, I was washing them in the, this tub here and uh, when I went to, to drain out the water so I could rinse them, it kind of, they fell and went down the sink. So luckily my brother had gotten the first two shipments meaning the first two months worth, and he had these pieces. So I had to get his out and uh, clean his up so I could use them. And I learned a valuable lesson. So I went and bought me this little strainer thing, and so from now on, these smaller pieces I can put in here after I wash them, pour them out in here, and then rinse them really well. So there we go. So what I'm going to do here is these pieces can sit over on the side. Uh, all these pieces are going to get painted. Um, these pieces here, what I need to do is actually get them glued together. I'm going to glue these together so this goes on the end here and this one goes on the end over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them and uh, uh, then I'm going to put the putty on them after the glue sets. And I'll have to sand it all down and everything. But I want it to have a nice seamless uh, seamless bit there. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to glue it and uh, whatnot anyway. So first thing I want to do when it comes to these is I just want to make sure that I'm putting the pieces on correctly. So let's have a look here. So it looks like, from what I can tell... This piece is going to be pointing basically back down the direction that it goes. And likewise with this piece here, it's going to be pointing back that direction, which is important to note. Oops. Important to know as you're doing this. So uh, what we'll do is I'm only going to have a short time period to put these on. So... Uh, I'm hold on to the with this, and I'm just going to dip the end of this. And I know some people are saying, well, you know, you should get like a uh, what do you call it, like a toothpick or something like that. But why mess with a toothpick when I can just do that? Because it helps if I can actually get it on there, right? Oops. 
that's a problem. So it looks like the glue set up a little bit. But I have it on there and I'll be able to put the putty on and all that kind of stuff. So that one's on. Thank God I'm putting the putty on there because that seam looks like crap. But that's okay. The putty will take care of that. And this one here looks like this. And let's just, let me just make sure. I don't want to put this on and realize, oh, this one was actually supposed to go the other way. Even though I just got done looking. Okay, so a little bit of glue on there. Ta-da. I'm probably going to regret doing this because I don't even know how noticeable this is going to be. But I'm going to regret doing it because it's going to be a real pain to clean up. I may have to use files because I don't think my sanding sticks are really going to do a lot of good with that. Alright, so that one's done too. So look how nasty that is. So a good thing, like I said, it shrinks up. So uh, we're just going to set these on there. Just like that. All right, so we'll let those set up. And uh, when they're done, I'll get them sanded. And uh, I'll prime them and then paint them. And we'll come back after they're primed and painted. And I'll show you what I'm going to do uh, with the painting the red and blue stripes. So I'll show you that when we get back. So, all right, catch you then. Welcome back everybody. So you can see I did a little touch up and uh, painted painted this stuff so it kind of stands out. Uh, did some highlighting on this um, just uh, with a little bit of silver just kind of help it kind of stand out. I don't know how much you're going to see after we get everything done here. But um, one of the things I know I mentioned before is um doing these colors so let me bring this in here get all these missing one i think yep okay here we go all right so these colors down here on these pipes so there's red it looks like blue or black i'm not sure um, but I'm going with red and blue. So, I have red and blue there. Red and blue there. Red and blue up here. There's a red and blue there. But then there's also... See if I can... Whoa. That was almost a mistake. There's also... Um, some red and yellow that I... After looking at it a bit heavier, I can see red and yellow. And I'm trying to see... Where it's where it's at now. I, actually, I think that's red and yellow there. So red, blue, red, blue, red, and yellow. I thought there was another spot where there's some red and yellow. So we're gonna do some coloring on those before we move forward. And uh, you can see, I set these ones off to the side because they're not getting colored. You can see I did a, a bit of a test here. So. Um, I have a dark blue and red there, and then a lighter blue and red there. And I'm just using, um, I'm just using these, uh, Sharpies. So here's my dark blue and the light blue. I'm not going to use the light blue. I'm just going to use the, this was the darkest red I could find, and the blue, and then the yellow. So what I want to do is try to, I guess, identify which one of these does what. So the first one should be easy. We can do this one here. So if if we kind of put this about where it's supposed to be, so we're looking at lines right there. So let's go ahead and, and uh, do that. So about where, if you can see, it's got, a, got this bend, this bend right here. 
So that's about where we're going to put our lines. So red goes at the top, blue goes at the bottom. So we're going to put, and we want the lines to be fairly, fairly thin uh, because we're working on something that's a, a bit thin. And I don't need to go all the way around. I just need to be able to go around. Um, uh, I just need to go around uh, just enough so it'll show up. Yeah, so um, we just need to go around far enough that it shows up when we put this on here. So if we were to stick this where it goes, right here, um, we just need to make sure that whatever angle that we're looking at, it shows up. So, and that does. So that one's good. Let's go ahead and get the blue on. And the blue goes below it, as we can see in the image down here. So the blue is below it. So, and we need a little bit of a gap in between. So, we'll just... Again, we just want to, you know, I was a little worried about how I was going to do this, and I had the idea of these ultra fine point Sharpies, and luckily my daughter has uh, quite the collection of them, and so uh, that's why I painted painted this piece up. This is just a piece of the sprue and I painted it just so I could test it, make sure that the, the Sharpie would mark okay on it and, and all that kind of stuff. So there's one of them. And the nice thing is that the, the lines are fine enough that they show up well. So the next one, if we put these cables or, or hoses or whatever they are, if we put these about where they belong, we're going to show up like this, right? So we're going to have it like that, and uh, that's about what it shows here. Um, so we need to put, so the hoses are a little bit different here than what they are here. But, uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put one on this one, and we're going to do it fairly high up. So we'll put one here, right? And then we'll put one here, right? And then another one down here. And then we'll do the yellow and red right there. So... Let's see, let's do this yellow and red. Let me get this this one here. And we'll put that one about in the middle. I didn't test how well this yellow was going to come out, so we'll see. Okay, so we kind of got those marked, and um, we'll do the yellow first, since I already have it here. And again, the yellow is on the bottom. Uh, for these other ones, the blue is on the top, so this yellow is hard to see. There we go. There's our yellow. I believe, like I said, that's the only yellow one we need. Might do a little bit more yellow on the inside here. We put this on. Actually, that that's enough yellow, I think. Yeah. All right. So there's that. 
and we need to put our red here. There's the red on that one. Since we have the red out, we'll put these here. And again, red on the bottom. I should put my other glasses on because I can't hardly, hardly see what I'm doing here. There's that one. And you'll notice I didn't quite get painted everywhere, but you won't see it. As these things were very hard because of how they're curved and everything. But uh, once they're in place, you don't see it. So that's what's most important, I think. Okay, now we just need the blue. And that will finish those parts up. And then we'll be able to start attaching them all. Um, and actually, I think I might go ahead and do some on this one here. Uh, if we look in this picture here, there's these straps, which I think that strap is kind of the blue. So we got the blue there, blue there, and we'll just do a red just to kind of help tie it all in. My hand shaking. <laughs> uh, too much coffee or something. All right, there's that. And if we look at this one, so this one's going to go here. And that hole. Okay, there we go. That one's going to go there. So we'll put one up here. Right? And then one about halfway. Okay, let's go ahead and get our... And we'll do some blue or some red as well, just to, like I said, tie it in. And I don't really know what the colors mean, other than just that they're there, right? And, you know, potentially, I suppose, it could have been to identify, like, what that cable had in it or something like that. But, oh, we need to do the blue on this one. There we go. One's done. All right, let's get our red. Actually, you can kind of see in this shot the blue up there, but like I said, we're going to add red just to give it some extra detail. There we go. There's that. All right. So I'm just going to let those dry up just a little bit. I know that uh, Sharpies should dry pretty quick, but they do have alcohol in it, which will actually loosen up the paint. And so we want to avoid any problems with that. So um, we'll let those dry up just a little bit. And then when we come back, we'll get them attached. Catch you in a bit.
Welcome back everybody. So here we are again with the final part of this this issue should be anyway and we're going to start attaching some of these things. So we've done all these gluing. The first thing we need to do is start gluing these on. So it's interesting how let's see which one does it do? Well I guess it does tell you to do this gray one first. Let's get all this stuff slid out of the road here. And uh, we don't need that wall. And I don't think we really need those. So let's get those over here. And, uh, alright. So, the interesting thing is, I don't think that these will need to be glued in place. So, um, so if we look at this one, we have the notch there, and then... There's a space and then the one that this goes into. So what we'll do is we'll put this, just slide it in. And I'm going to read here. Uh, so here it says, fit end A into arrow, arrowed hole, right? In the door liner and hook end B around the liner as seen below. When it fits correctly, secure the ends with drops of glue. So it's right. So once, and we'll know better once we get this white one put on, right? So right now I've got it in place, and uh, so drops of glue. Um, I suppose I'll put a little drop up here. Where that where that sticks through, and then if I hold it over, I can put a little drop there, which I'll probably do. Um, so the next part will be putting this white one in, and it goes to the in the one just below it, right? So I thought about uh, kind of weathering these these hoses a little bit, but after I kind of thought about it for a little bit, I kind of decided that uh, it wasn't really something necessary. Okay. So, um, I like the fact that the hoses are, they, they heavily contrast with everything else, right? They're very, uh, very clear and clean and all that kind of stuff, and I kind of like that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, Try to hold these over as far as we can. All right, and then take our glue. I'm just gonna put it in there. Put some glue here. Put it in there, and then here and there. Now. One of the things I do worry about is the fact that painted stuff does not stick all that well. So that's something to at least keep in mind. So I'm going to hold this while that dries. And then we'll move on to this piece. Now, if we talk about it, it says fit, fit the hooked end. Make sure that it fits up through step 9. Align the pipe three with the line where the door liner is fit is fitted into the whole wall when you are sure it fits secure the top with glue well the problem is that one of the things that you have to do is this next part is we're going to be putting that into this hole down here so i want to make sure that uh you know that i don't just you know secure it with glue and then have to move this too much particularly this one because there's not really a whole lot of gluing uh, uh, possible so i think what i might do is i might kind of clean this end off right here there we go we'll clean this end off because glue sticks better to just the plastic and not the paint. So I'm just going to clean that off. 
and uh, that should give us a better opportunity to have a, a decent well you can see how great that was a decent connection there and then this one so I don't know exactly the best way to put this on there but uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, take a drop of glue and what we're going to do is we're just going to put that in there right and then we'll put our drop of glue in or our, our thing in there and if we look at the picture so it's kind of pulled down quite a ways something kind of like that right so that's what we're going to do so we got like here if we look here on that one you can kind of see that there's not a whole lot of these holes showing through so we're going to do that and then we're going to do pretty much the same thing we're just going to run this right alongside it and uh, i know it says put a drop of glue on the top after you put it in a place but i think for the most part that's pretty difficult to do so i don't know how i mean because i don't want to put glue on there and then have it uh if you put glue on like a drop of glue up here then it gets really messy and I, i'd really like to avoid the messiness right so and then our last one what we're going to do is we're just going to put a drop right here on this peg and we're going to slide this in this hole right and then line that up and we should be able to go just like that okay so all of our stuff is in there now we get to bring this back in and we're going to go ahead and put this wall on so i'm just going to let this sit here for just a, a second or two and then we'll stick this wall on and see how it goes once we get this wall on we'll also be able to put this on We'll see how that goes. See if our holes line up at all. So, okay. I'll be back in a few. Okay, welcome back. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and put these in, in here. And uh, so, we have these three things. And one of the things we have to look out for and make sure is that we can see that our those pipes do fit in that little groove right there and if we look here we are pushed all the way down so we're doing good there all right so the last little bit that we have is let's just check this for a fitting here I don't know if that's actually going to fit or not. Looks like our hole that we drilled was slightly too low. And uh, the funny thing is, it was a bit too far inward. So, the only recourse that we have is to potentially drill another one. So I really want this on there because it adds a lot of color. So if I go up a little higher, I won't run into that problem with the, uh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. My hand's kind of in the road. If I'm just a little bit higher. I'll show you when I'm done here. So... Uh, just a little bit higher than the original hole, which should give me a good angle on it.
Oh. <laughs> I'd been through it for a while, and I was drilling into my mat. That's pretty intelligent. Okay. So you can see where I put the other hole. Okay. So, yeah, that was pretty slick of me. I just got through that mat pretty well, though. All right. There we go. That looks like I can see the hole. Alright. So we can put that right there. And get it in this hole here. Holy cow. Alright, so if we do it just like that, I can glue this here. Put plenty of glue. Now, as long as I don't have to uh, take this thing out for any reason, we'll be okay. <laughs> Okay, after looking at it, so if you look here, you can kind of see where that's pulled up a little bit, but you can also see where this wall doesn't press all the way over. I mean, if I press it with my hand, it'll go over. Otherwise, there's, let's see if you can see it, there's a gap. There you go, you can kind of see where that gap is if it, if it focuses. Kind of see the gap right there. You can see that gap. So, with the gap being there, until this back wall gets put on, when the back wall gets put on, you'll use screws to hold this over. So, I'm going to hold off on gluing this part of the wire in place until then, because I, I need it to kind of be somewhat loose before I put it down there. So, I'm going to hold off on that part until then. And with that, what I'm going to say is this part is a wrap. So that finishes up uh, issue 11, and uh, it takes care of everything there. We did a little bit extra, and then issue 12, we'll be getting more frame pieces. Uh, this is going to be part of the bulkhead, one of, so one of these bulkheads or something, and uh, part of the, the, uh, um, the plating. The outside plating so um, maybe we'll get started on that but I, I have a feeling we're going to be trying to finish up a lot of what's going on in here first uh, before we move on to the exterior part so uh, they might mix it up a little bit but I, I just have a feeling we'll finish this up so with that thank you very much everybody and I will catch you in the next one may the force be with you always